Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. And uh, in this episode, uh, I'm with Bob and we are at what's called Hotel Henry. And this used to be a sanitarium. So local legend has it that it's haunted. Right, Bob? You believe in ghosts, Bob? <laughs> Bob doesn't believe in ghosts, so Bob's not scared. Just a boogie, man. <laughs> it's a pretty amazing building. I don't know, I don't remember exactly when it was built. I'd have to look that up. But the architecture is really, really cool looking. So let me scout around a little bit, see if I can find a composition. Uh, we'll probably talk a little bit maybe about uh, nighttime exposures because I think we're going to maybe have to do some long exposures or whatever. It's actually snowing a little bit now. I'll be right back with you guys. And shortly after that is when the problems began. What you are seeing but not hearing is me explaining how my awesome compositional skills and superior exposure techniques are going to guarantee that I win photographer of the year. The reason you can't hear me is because both the shotgun microphone on the camera and the wireless mics stopped working when I got closer to the building. And then once I moved away from the building, well, the shotgun mic just suddenly started working all on its own. See, that alarm is kind of annoying. Is that the uh, do not cross alarm? I'm going to do you. see me escape? Just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Once Bob decided to put his drone up in the air, the wireless mic started inexplicably working again mid-sentence. He's going to put his drone up. So I'm going to tag along, be his visual observer for him so that when it... If it crashes, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll be able to see where it is. Show so we can use my drone to fish his drone off of the roof. And one of these days, I'm going to stop YouTubing for you guys and actually become a photographer again. <laughs> oh, he's clearing off his lens. This is a uh, takeoff pad. There he goes. Bob got a really great photo with his drone, and he didn't even experience any technical difficulties or suffer a glitch that required for me to use my drone to rescue his drone off the roof. Personally, I think he got lucky. Or maybe the ghosts just like him better than they like me. So was I a victim of paranormal activity? Maybe, I'll let you decide. But one thing I do know is that there is no way that I screwed something up with the audio. How can I be sure? Well, simply put, because I never screw anything up. And that, my friends, is drone flying in the winter in Buffalo, New York. Best time, to, best time to fly. It was amazing, Bob, how you were dodging all those snowflakes. <laughs> Not a one hit your drone. That's right. <laughs> 